Now to the launch of our new series, Cash Q. We're giving you real tips to save money and even better, make some money. Have you been sitting at home wondering what you could do to make some extra money? Well, I was actually making $8,000 a month reselling couches just like this. First, you're gonna go on websites like OfferUp, Craigslist, or Facebook Marketplace. You're then gonna go search for sectional couches. Normal couches are fine, but sectionals always get the most money, and the goal is to lock one up for under $150. After you find a deal, go to their house and pick up the couch. You'll need some type of truck or SUV in order to go get it. Once you have the couch, make sure you remove the cushion covers and wash them. Once you do that, relist the couch on those same platforms and offer free delivery. In fact, you can tell this person is doing the same exact thing. They're selling it for 360 bucks and they probably only paid less than 100. Once you get a buyer, go deliver the couch and make your profit. When I was doing this full time, I was averaging $200 profit on every single couch. And I was able to find one to two deals every single day. Eventually, I rented storage units for all of them and made it a legitimate business. But if you're new to this, all you gotta do is find a couple of these every week and you can add a few thousand to your income every month. So go flip some couches. We would love to. In fact, right now we are joined by Ryan Panetta, an entrepreneur, social media guru, uh, real estate and e-commerce expert. Uh, what else do you do? Uh, but right now we want to talk to you about what we can do at home. Of course, you gave us those ideas about couch flipping. First of all, aren't couches dirty? I mean, do you have to get them cleaned? How much work is involved? <laughs> yeah, so cleaning them isn't as hard as you'd think. You know, when you start flipping couches, you're not looking for these ones you gotta just totally redo and you know fix up and patch up. Really, most couches aren't that bad. You just need to take off the cushion covers, throw them in the washer and dryer, throw them back on, and they're good as new. Well, that's good to know. And why is it that couches are so, um, I guess, a, such a good investment versus dining room tables or dressers or something? Yeah, so when I first started doing this, it was back in 2013, like, 14, and I tried everything. I tried couches, the dining room tables, the dressers, you name it. And what I found was couches were number one, the easiest thing to find. Everybody was selling couches. There weren't that many dressers for sale. Um, number two, they were the easiest to transport and not really damage. Like if you think about it, when you put a couch in a truck or you know a big SUV, the bottom of it, yeah, it can go lay on the truck and it's not really going to matter if it gets scratched up. But the table or the dresser, you go throw it in there, you know, one little scratch and people don't really want it anymore. So a lot easier to transport. And the third thing is the profit margins are just way better. You know, a table might, I might be able to go get one for a hundred bucks, but I'm not going to really make that much on it. What about in terms of other items around the house that we might not know are money or tre treasure troves, I guess, inside of our homes? Is there anything else you can tell us to flip? Oh, my gosh, you could flip anything. Um, you know, on my YouTube channel, we talked about how people were flipping vintage T-shirts for five hundred dollars. They didn't even know they're sitting on these old T-shirts from Disney that are worth a lot. So I think there's a lot of things you could flip in your own house that you may not even think are valuable. But now have come back in style. But uh, for me, couches were the easiest one to get uh, you know, a lot of supply of. One more question for you, and I hope it's not too much in your business. How much money do you think that you have received from flipping couches? I'm just really curious. <laughs> well, now I flip houses for a living, but back then I probably flipped over a thousand couches. And I mean, if you do the math, you know, say 200 bucks a couch, you're looking at over $200,000 in my career. All right. You might set the record. You might want to contact Guinness Book of World Records and see if you can get in there. Thank you, Ryan Panetta. It was good to have you on. Thanks for having me. Very inspiring. Okay, so we all need to like 